So welcome to another one-on-one um, with Chinook's digital reporter, Danica Tramberg and Marshall Kozowski. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, no, thank you for letting me be part of this. So, yeah, it's so great to see you. What are you up to? Oh, literally just finished throwing, working out, <laughs> trying to stay in shape during this uh, quarantine. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll get back to baseball here soon. So we'll see what, we'll see what happens. But What's uh, quarantine training been like for you? Um, <laughs> a lot of uh, jailhouse workouts, running around, uh, push-ups, sit-ups. Uh, <laughs> you know, I haven't really had any access to a gym, but, um, you know, running around a park and just doing – being creative, <laughs> that's really what quarantine workouts have consist of so far. So, but quarantine yeah, in general, to... <laughs> being yeah. creative is key. Exactly have, you, exactly. have you picked up any new hobbies during quarantine? Um, I actually started um, um, Rosetta Stone Spanish. I've been doing it for about two months now, and uh, you know, being in the minor leagues and stuff, we're around a lot of Latin players, so. Mm -hmm. um, my, my foundation was actually a lot better than I thought. And, um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of really got real serious with it. So That's <laughs> but awesome. I'm not good yet. So I'm not, I'm not like <laughs> anywhere, like not anywhere to like where I could speak it, but I can understand it a lot better than I can speak it. So you got to uh, start somewhere. That's impressive. Right? <laughs> so uh, talking about the Chinooks, um, what was your experience like when you were with them um, off the field? Not not necessarily as a player on the field, but off the field. Off the field, I mean, it was just a great time to be around a lot of guys that like that you played against in college, and so you always mm -hmm. like heard you know about a player or two, and the next thing you know, your teammates with them. So being off the field, it was just really nice to get to know like another person uh, from you know different areas, different schools, uh, just all that you know how their program relates to your program. Yeah. Um, and, and then again, being with your host families and stuff, you know, host families would take us out to do things. Uh, of course, in, if anyone's familiar with the Northwoods League, they know we don't have too much downtime, but, uh, <laughs> Very true. but you know, the, the Summerfest, uh, you know, I went to Summerfest one year, got to experience that. That was, that was a blast. So yeah, it was, I mean, definitely a great time off the field for the few days we had. <laughs> Very true. Uh, one of our fans actually, submitted a question and they said what did you enjoy most about the state of Wisconsin during your two years with the Chinooks is there anything that stands out to you yeah actually the people all together were really really nice um I just really enjoyed um like that whole region like the just Wisconsin people in general <laughs> so that's that really stands out um, I really enjoyed that a lot just like how everyone was welcoming and just really nice so um, nice where are you, you at now stuff. Uh, I'm in Nashville, actually. Oh, one of the best places in the country. <laughs> it, is, it is. It is another good place. So <laughs> you enjoy your time down there? Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, everything's closed. So, it's, you know, can't really do much, but it's still a nice place to be. Um, so we're talking about off the field. What about um, your next experience on the field? Yeah, no, it was great. Like, uh, you know, everybody, coaches and players, you know, being around different guys just brought different uh, mental, mental and physical edges to the game. So there was a lot of learning in that aspect, um, you know, playing the game, getting a lot of innings in. Uh, I started for the Chinooks for uh, – I was a starter there for 15 and 16 summer. And, uh, yeah, it was just like just playing the game in general was just fun. and uh, It was a lot, 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 lot uh, less stress. <laughs> so playing in a summer league versus, you know, your collegiate league where you're – fighting for spots and all that good things so right but no it was, it was great it was just fun playing against a bunch of a bunch of different guys so how do you think that helped you transition to your career in baseball well I definitely got to see a lot of different types of hitters um and players so it helped me understand uh you know what guys I pitch well against um what guys I really have to focus in lock in and have a plan against um so yeah it definitely helped me on the you know with that getting game plan together when I'm facing specific type of hitters so awesome. there's so many teams <laughs> yeah do you want to talk a little bit about your experience like minor to major leagues and um what you're doing now yeah my first um uh, my first got drafted I was like oh gosh everyone's so good there's no way 
<laughs> I just had like that, uh, like that come to Jesus moment where you're just like, wow, everybody here throws hard. They hit balls really far, <laughs> mm-hmm. but, uh, it just come, it really comes to, um, just being really consistent at what you do. I mean, they drafted me for a reason. What would I do well? Um, you know, what I don't do well, they already have someone that does, you know, equal, they don't need me to do, um, great what I'm bad at if that makes sense yeah so I just really focused on um you know my strengths and using them consistently and uh yeah my first year in my first full year was 18 2018 and I started in low way and I actually had a, like one of the worst starts to a season you could ever have like it was horrible I had two weeks of just not pitching well at all um I was actually in Michigan, so I was up it was up, up there in April, so it was cold and snowy. Um, uh, but after those two weeks, I kind of locked it in, and then I kind of just got cruising, um, made it to – got called up, I think, right before June to our high-A baseball team in Rancho Cucamonga, California. And from there, uh, after about six, seven weeks, I got called up to double-A, and that's where I finished my first year. Um, so it was a really successful first year overall. Um, and my 2019 year, um, I went back to double A, started out really hot, did really well, um, was, I mean, couldn't have asked to, to perform any better. And right as I was getting right, you know, right as guys are starting to get called up and things are starting to move and, you know, I didn't know where I was going to go, you know, maybe big leagues, maybe, uh, you know, definitely a stop in triple A for sure. And uh, then I just got hurt, and it was a freak, freak thing um, that put me out for two months of 2019 season. And, um, you know, it just wasn't, wasn't my time yet. So spent two months rehabbing, came back, uh, and I was okay. I just had missed so much time. I wasn't up to par. And uh, finished up the 2019 season in AA. Um, then I went to the Arizona Fall League uh, during the fall which uh, that was fun. Got to play with, you know, some of the top prospects in baseball and, you know, got to get, got, got to get a few more innings in. Um, and then after that, shut it down, went home, took a break and then got back to it. And uh, in January, that's when they called me and told me I was going to be invited to the big league camp. So um, right before all COVID um, went down, I was in big league camp and I was doing well. So, doing really well holding my own learning a lot um so definitely on the upper trajectory trajectory sorry (laughs) but uh but yeah well it's awesome congratulations well thank you yeah it's now now it's just uh quarantine training right (laughs) seriously so Uh, so we have a few more fan submitted questions that are just kind of fun um We'll start with what's your favorite ballpark food? Mm. I re- you know, this is so funny, but I remember uh, after the game, Shinna games, there'd be like some like the fried food left out. Oh, yeah. And my favorite one was uh, it was the cheese curds and then the fried cheese curds and then, um, oh, oh, it was like a fried cod, I think is what it was. I like, I don't know why, but I, that was like some of my favorite stuff. Other than that, I would say a hot dog because that's pretty – you're going to find a hot dog everywhere. But That's pretty but typical. Yeah. But <laughs> appreciate the Wisconsin cheese curds and fish fry. That's very – Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have another food question. What a burger or in and out Ooh, see, I – this is where I play devil's advocate because I – like if you're going for just the burger – I like like In and Out's a really good hamburger itself. But if you're going for a specialty burger, I gotta go Water Burger just because I feel like it's just a really good specialty burger. So I'm kind of like torn between the two, but uh, I like them both. So <laughs> it's kind of not a not a good answer, but I do. <laughs> hey, that's fair. Both for different reasons. Um, and animal fries can't go wrong with those. So yeah, true. <laughs> um, next one. What would be your go-to walk-up song? Oh, okay. This is a, uh, it's Oh My This Side by Travis Scott. And I got it from a, from one of my best friends. And uh, it's just, we really like the beat to it. And it's just a great, like, we just love the beat, like the intro, how it comes into a game. So uh, the words are a little explicit, but 
it's not it's not, not that's not why we like it we just like the beat <laughs> so it's a comfortable that's all that matters yeah, yeah for sure <laughs> Um, next question. Uh, if you had an, you had an excellent 2015 season with the Lakeshore Chinooks, um, but you took it to the next level in 2016, what do you think attributed to that success or what did you do differently? Well, um, I definitely, so 2015, um, that fall, no, December 21st, 2015, I had a, I was in a really bad car accident and what really did it was it kind of, um, I got taken out of my spring season essentially. And then that's when I reached back out to the Chinooks to ask if they would have me back for the 2016 season. And, um, you know, they agreed to it and I signed my contract with them. So kind of gave me a clear head and I was able to really just spend that whole spring uh, rehabbing, get back to full health um, after the car accident. I did have a, a stomach surgery as well uh, as a result from the accident, but um, I, I was really able to spend a whole entire spring um, in the gym, reconstructing my body the way I wanted to, getting in great shape and honing in on my baseball skills. So I think the success in 2016 uh, it, uh, alone comes from just being able to have that sh that uh, that time to really just hone in and focus. I had no distractions. It's the only thing I had to do was school mm -hmm. and that. So <laughs> I didn't have to go out and compete during my college season. You know, I just kind of was, it was, it was like a, it was like a, it's a good reset button, honestly, to my career. Um, mm -hmm. At the time, I didn't think of it like that. You know, I was like, oh, no, like, you know, freaking out. But looking back, it was a very good, like, reset uh, mentally. And I was able to do what I wanted to do with my, you know, with my career. And, uh, of course, I was surrounded by great coaches and teammates as well. I'd, I think uh, it was Owen Miller. Yeah, Owen Miller played shortstop uh, behind me in 2016. And he made some great plays that, you know, all that stuff contributes to pitchers doing well. So, uh, which, by the way, Owen Miller, I played with him. I played against him a lot in, uh, in Double A. So, a little oh, shout yeah? out there for any Owen Miller fans. <laughs> <laughs> so we still we still connect a little bit, but but yeah, that's awesome. So I would say all that really contributed to that success in '16. Do you still stay in contact with some of your um, old play teammates? I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Doug Kreger from uh, '15. She, uh, uh, Greg Dykeman from the 2015 team, uh, Owen Miller, 16, Lake Bocker, 2015. Uh, I know there's other guys. I just can't think of them. God, there's actually quite a few guys you'd be shocked. You know, they're still playing the game and mm -hmm. um, still around. So it's a small world in baseball, you know. <laughs> you, if someone's always, someone's played with somebody or, you know, you know someone <laughs> played with one of your friends. Mm -hmm. uh, no, yeah, how that goes quite a few people so awesome well I just want to say thanks for joining us today again I know you just finished your workout so you're on your way back home now but um, we really appreciated your time and it was good to talk yeah no absolutely thank you again for having me on and uh, anytime for the show absolutely well thanks for joining us we'll see you guys next time